My name is Rick Chu. Uh, I am from the UK um, and I am a professional musician. I have been really since I left school. So uh, it's always been my life. I started playing classical music, but then I heard jazz music when I was uh, probably about 16. And a guy came into my school and he was a very good jazz piano player. And he started playing these chords that I'd never seen before, I'd never heard them before. And I thought, I really want to be able to do that. The piano has been in my life since I was about six years old. And my parents um, inherited the piano from my grandmother. And um, I was so excited at its arrival in the house that I used to put uh, my blankets underneath the piano so I could sleep underneath it. It felt safe underneath the piano. And I think that I was always going to have a relationship with the piano. I think music speaks without words. And for me, that was a wonderful way of communicating my feelings without having to say anything. So I was kind of uh, quite a shy person. And for me, the music was a way of communicating things I couldn't say. Um, and when I was um, upset or feeling uh, down about life, um, I, knew I could, could go to the piano and I knew it would make me feel better or enable me to cope with whatever problems I was facing. I've always thought of music as being one huge, uh, it's like an ocean for me. Okay? And there are rivers that flow into that ocean. Um, this river might be called rock music, this river might be called jazz music, this river might be called folk music. The fascinating thing about synthesizing is that you can make um, full orchestral sound. For me, when I'm into full orchestras, that is full music. Um, and you can layer sounds together, you can make soundscapes. It's an endlessly interesting machine that can create so many different sounds, pretty much anything you can imagine. Um, and that's a nice break from the single sound of the piano, but I still prefer this. I would never, uh, if, if somebody said to me, you can have the best synthesizer in the world, a million bucks, uh, I still would trade it for an acoustic piano. I think um, I approach everything through music, um, which is why I love to teach, because uh, for me it's a, a way of expressing my passion about music. So I'm the type of person who goes to bed at night thinking music, and when I wake up in the morning I'm thinking about music again. So for me it's a lifelong obsession. I'm always listening, I think, as a musician for new things because I write music. So, you know, my big passion is writing music and always looking for the next sound, the next piece that's going to come along to, uh, to inspire me and take me forward. And I think it's one of those things that changes our human life. So, the music I was listening to 20, 30 years ago, I now come back to it. So I remember that was so beautiful and that reminds me of when I was 10 years old or that reminds me of when I was, and I can plot my life. I, I think a lot of us can do that. We look back at the music we listen to and say, oh yeah, I remember being leaving school and that was the song that was playing. Um, you know, or being where I am now, which is, uh, you know, I was a singer for many years as well. So I'm like doing a performance on Sunday, which will be very important performance for me because it's the last time I'm going to sing classically. So I'm going to now devote myself to piano.